Okay, so you may have found, if you've got one of these lightning to USB camera adapters, that you can't do an awful lot with it because pretty much everything requires extra power. Uh, and I tried every single USB I've got, and I've got probably, I don't know, 15, 20 USBs that I've tried, um, and none of them worked. They all required too much power. Um, so the one thing I did find that did work is this little Kingston uh, micro SD card adapter. Um, so basically you pop a micro SD card in it, and then it becomes like a USB stick, really, uh, but a very, very small one. Now, if I pop that in here, and then I go to, uh, well, let's screen record this. Then I go to the Files app, and you can see that I've got locations on the top there. Now, it shows up here. There's a lot of drives uh, showing up here. Uh, boot drive, computer 5, computer 2, hyperos. This is obviously some sort of issue. Uh, I plugged in a, uh, a very old uh, Mac store external drive um, and it worked fine with it, but uh, it seems to have left them all behind. But this 32 gig one is the one we're interested in because that's what I've named this little memory stick. Um, one very important thing, you need to format your uh, SD card uh, if you're going to use it as a memory stick or an SD card as either FAT or XFAT. Don't uh, do it as FAT32 because for some reason it just doesn't show up at all. Uh, it did on my Windows computer but it doesn't show up on this at all. So I've got some files in here that I've just been playing around with. So there's a 1080 video file, there's an MP3 file, there's a high res audio file and a 4K video file. If I want to select one of the files, so say for instance let's go for that demo photo because it's going to be the quickest one. Tap on the folder uh, and then I can choose where I want to move it to. Uh, now it should show me some locations here. Let's try that again. Select. It is a bit buggy. It is a beta. But what it shows is that there's going to be really, really good potential to it. Uh, right, it's not letting me select it and it appears to have crashed. Whoa! So I've selected all of them there. Uh, that was a bit of a hang up, wasn't it? Uh, so I've selected that, hit done. Uh, so let's select that photo first. Uh, tap on folder and this will show me the locations I can go to. I'm used to this sort of system because I use a system called File Browser on here which is amazing uh, and uh, I haven't really struggled with files and things like that because I've got a network attached storage drive uh, and I can literally just tap on there and it will give me access to whatever's on that drive. So you can see uh, this, and this is iOS 12, so I've been using this for, for ages and I can even copy between my MacBook, uh, my Windows computer, uh, my uh, USB stick plugged into my router, all of that works brilliantly. But anyway, this is more about this little adapter. So uh, I want to put it somewhere. Now I often would put it in File Browser. Uh, so if I tap on File Browser, and if I don't select a folder that's in there, it would just copy it to the root. So if I hit Copy, so that should have done that now. So let's go back to File Browser on my iPhone, and there it is. There's the photo. Don't allow Bluetooth. Um, so. If I go back, so that's File Browser, but let's go back into the Files app uh, and let's see if on locations we can find it here. Uh, so I guess it's called On My iPhone here, is it? Uh, oh, On My iPhone, look. So it's the same thing, and this shows me various apps that I can put uh, files into to use. So you can see VLC for video, uh, Lima Fusion for editing, and so on. So if I go to File Browser, and this will show me all the files that are in there, and one of them is that demo photo. There you go, so that's showing it in the Files app. But let's try something a bit more tricky. Uh, let's go back to Locations, go back to 32 gig, which is this little SD card in the adapter. Uh, and I'll put a, um, a close-up of, uh, of this adapter so you can see the exact model number because I've ordered another one uh, because it's so useful. So go into Files, uh, so we've got a 1080 video here. Now if I just tap on it, Oh, it does come up. Uh, and then I can hit play, and this will be playing from the little SD card, uh, although it looks like it's struggling. And it is playing it. Let's just put the, oh, I suppose it's, it will screen record anyway. So if I put it in full screen, yeah, that is definitely playing all right. That's quite cool. So I'm playing a 
Oh, and look, it works in uh, in landscape as well. I don't know if that if it if it would always do that. Whoop, portrait that. Oh, yeah, it does portrait and landscape. Um, so if I wanted to go a bit more ambitious, uh, here's a bug here. Look, this 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 line has come up too far. Uh, so let's hit select. Let's select that 4K video, which is nearly a gigabyte, 983 megabytes, and we'll put that on my phone. It's defaulted to VLC. Well, let's let's copy it to VLC because that would be an app that would play it. Uh, so hit copy, uh, and I'm obviously going to have to speed this up. Be nice to see uh, an indication of how long it's going to take, um, but that could come in further builds. Now, annoyingly, while it's doing that, my uh, my Sony camera records video in a in a weird folder something like MP root or something like that, and, uh, and, it, and then it's a folder within a folder. So this adapter with iOS 12 has never been able to see the videos on my camera. I can transfer it with Wi-Fi, um, but, uh, but that takes a long time. And uh, with iOS 13, obviously you're going to have full access to the, the contents of that card, uh, and, it, and you can copy between and so on. And, and that's really good. That, that really is a plus point. Uh, now, I don't know how long this is going to take because this is a... Uh, a slow memory card. I think it's probably a class 10, um, but uh, it is a slow one. Oh, there you go. So it says it's done it. So uh, let's open up VLC. Let's see what files are there. And Paddington's there as well. Look. 4K fashion. So this is a 4K video playing on my iPhone 7. Actually, that, and it's 4K 60 as well. That's playing all right, isn't it? That's actually playing smoothly. Yeah, that is impressive. So it's another way to, to view for <laughs> nice switching. It's another way to view files um, that if you haven't got enough space on your phone and you wanted to watch a film, this isn't too intrusive to have this little tiny uh, SD card in a memory stick adapter uh, with the Apple Lightning to USB card adapter. There is the other version of this which is bigger and has separate power, but I was really searching around to find something that would work in there because none of my USB sticks work in there. Uh, and I've tried even really old USB sticks that I thought may have worked, but they haven't. Uh, this is a fake um, one. Uh, it was from Amazon, I think, and it works, but it often times out. And okay, it so it turns out there are other things you can do not with, this little with this adapter. Uh, and one of the surprising things for me uh, was using a USB sound card adapter. Now I must have bought this, I don't know, several years ago. I had an old computer where the sound doesn't, didn't work at all. Uh, there was a fault with the sound card. So I bought this uh, to be able to plug it through an amplifier. And uh, surprisingly enough, it doesn't need any setup. It doesn't need any extra power. Uh, so if I plug it into this Bose speaker. Battery, 50%. And let's pick some music. So what's cool about this adapter is that it's just giving USB signal to this uh, 3D sound card, uh, which has got a headphone socket and a microphone socket. You can use microphones uh, direct through this. You can use USB microphones, uh, again, as long as they don't use too much power. But I just expected this to use more power and didn't expect it to work. But it works and it sounds fine. Uh, so I tried another sound card I had, which is this one. Uh, and this one has multiple inputs and outputs and is also optical and it's upside down. Uh, so if I plug that in, and then straight away it says it uses too much power. So what we now need to do is introduce a USB hub. Now I've had this USB hub for absolutely ages. I reckon it's about 15 to 20 years old. Um, and it's, I don't even think it's USB 2. But uh, it plugs in, so there's a little, like a printer cable, a USB A to B, uh, which then plugs into the adapter. And then we'll lose that message that says uh, that there's too much power. Uh, let's plug that into there. Can you see that? Yeah, you can just about see all that. Uh, and then let's plug in this Bose speaker to the, there's like an audio output. 
that function on there. Let's turn it this way. So now let's try. There you go. So the secret to supplying more power is to have a USB hub. Doesn't work with everything because uh, again, back to the file format, uh, FAT and XFAT USB products work. FAT32 formatted products don't work. Um, but let's just try some older products before I get a copyright strike. So let's try, well let's just try a USB stick first. Now for some reason I'm not getting file management. Right, I'm going to reboot my phone and see if that's got something to do with it. Okay, phone's rebooted. Let's try plugging back in. No error messages about power. We've just had the USBs come on here, so they've lit up. And still nothing there. That's weird because it, it was working before. Again, this is a really old USB drive. I'll leave it for a little bit. Let's plug some more in, shall we? And see. Oh, there it is, Kingston. Right, so that's what's supposed to happen. Uh, you can see that that comes up and then you get uh, folder options. I can't even remember what's on that stick. Um, so pretty much all of the memory sticks I tried that were either FAT or XFAT worked fine. Um, so if you've got devices that require more power, it's not an issue. Now, if I try... Now I tried that several times uh, and it's, I couldn't get it to work. You can see this is working straight away so it looks like rebooting the phone seems to uh, ease that problem. Uh, this uh, memory card was uh, one from an Amiga. Um, I, I had it to put ROMs on but I sold my Amiga in the end. I, mean, I have to get around to selling this and selling the card. Um, but there are some photos on there uh, that I haven't taken. Um, so whether that was from uh, the CEX where I bought it from, I don't know. Uh, but you can see that it's got Full file access to even a compact flash card. Um, so this is something that you wouldn't have expected possibly working with that with a, a, an adapter. So we're going from the iPhone adapter, USB into the hub and then this is plugged into the hub. So it seems to support hubs absolutely fine. So it supports it with sound, it supports it with data as well. So I'm sure it will support it with other devices. Um, so there's one more thing to try. Um, I've tried these and they don't work uh, and uh, it's basically because they're the wrong file format. So they must be in a file format that it doesn't recognize. So not FAT or XFAT. So I could reformat them if I wanted to use them with it. Um, the size restriction doesn't seem to be an issue. So the last thing I was going to try was this old Max Tour drive and you might have heard it whirring in the background. Um, it's, uh, I don't know if the mic would pick it up. So if I plug this in because this also uses a USB A to B. This is a super old uh, iDrive. Let's move this hub out of the way. So I'm literally this is powered, has its own power, and that's part of the reason that it that it seems to work fine. So you can possibly hear that. Uh, if I pick some of these, they don't work, but others do, and that's because this is uh, partitions got about eight partitions on it, and I used to use a system called HyperOS on it. Google it, it's really interesting if you're interested in old Windows. It used to be able to run Windows 95 from RAM, uh, and so it used to run super fast. It was a bit like having an SSD, but 20 years ago or whenever. Um, so if I click on one of these works, I think it's Boot Drive works. Well, let's click on HyperOS. No, Contents Unavailable. Compute to Contents Unavailable. There you go. So if you get a drive that is formatted in either FAT uh, or XFAT, so this would be FAT it's an old drive, uh, you can find that you can actually access all the old folders. So this is a, look, so I've got some photos from Italy 2002 uh, on here uh, and various things. So you have full access, full file access. So, and, and this has only just started. What's that photo then? I don't even know what that is. Oh, 9.9 .9 megabytes, so I'll probably... I might open. You can hear this is whirring and whirring. Oh, some old BMX photos. Uh, so I've obviously scanned them in at some point. So uh, anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Hope this helps. Uh, good tip on this. I mean, they are super cheap if you want to be able to get uh, analog audio out of uh, a device that doesn't have a headphone socket. Obviously, if you've already got one of these, if you haven't already got one of these, you might as well just buy the headphone adapter. But it's interesting that this works uh, and maybe you could use a better uh, device 
to, to improve the audio going through to a hi-fi. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.